this video, we will go over how easy it is to get your stock set up with HSM works. The stock can be an important tool because it gives you an opportunity to see on the screen before it actually happens out at the machine. What we have here is a throttle body for a car. This is a casted part and we are coming back to that in a little bit. But the reason that I have changed the colors is simply so I can keep track of what faces and features I have to machine. Now let's take a look at our stock options in HSM Works. We will start by navigating over to the CAM Manager and then selecting Job from the SolarWorks Command Manager. If you are looking for more information in regards to other functions inside the Job Setup Property Manager, I'll recommend you take a look at the Job Setup video you can see the link for below. I'll show that link once again in the end of this video. By default, the stock options in HSM Works is Relative Size Box. Relative Size Box means that HSM Works analyzes the volume of the SOLIDWORKS model and then creates a cubic box that encloses that part. The second drop down gives you options to add or not to add additional material to that cubic box. The continue machining from previous job checkbox can be really helpful. If you are using multiple jobs for different operations, like the part here where we need to machine from different sides, you can perform rest machining in the second setup and the HSM works will consider what was machined on the stock in the previous operation. So relative stock is great. By default it quickly gives us some stock to work with and this is great if you just need to throw some toolpath together or maybe do not know what size your stock is in real life. The second option is fixed size box. So if you do have the extra stock sizes you are going to use, you can then input them in these fields. It is important to point out that X, Y, Z axis are responding according to the work coordinate system. So here Z is up and down, but if I switch the work coordinate system, the C height will change along. Notice how we can change how the fixed size box behaves in regards to the axis, really giving us a lot of flexibility. Next one is cylindrical. What is really cool about this is that HSM Works is looking for an axis of revolution. And this can really be any axis. So you could select a cylindrical face or an edge or you could create your own by using SOLIDWORKS reference geometry. And you can display the measurement as stock offset or as radius. It is entirely up to you. There is two options left. From solid and from extruded sketch. I am going to show you from extruded sketch first. Both of these are really superstars to why integrated cam is so powerful. First, from extruded sketch. Of course, the great thing about using SOLIDWORKS is that you have great CAD tools. We can use those great CAD tools for our stock. I have created a simple sketch inside SOLIDWORKS and I can select it from within the HSM Works job setup window. Not only does this give you powerful sketching tool you are already familiar with, but also the flexibility to use relationships and even equations for your stock. You will see we have stock offset that will let us add a little material to the top of our part and we can also input a total height. The from solid option can be powerful with inner part or an assembly and I will show you both. Within a part we could take that sketch we used before and turn it into a solid. 
Just remember to uncheck merge result so you get two bodies. Now, if we expand the solid bodies folder, we can hide our stock body by clicking on the glasses. Back to the CAD manager, job setup, and in the stock drop down select from solid. You can expand your feature tree, expand the solid bodies folder, and select that hidden body. Now that solid will be used as stock when using stock simulation. This is giving you a lot of freedom to really do things as accurate as you need within HSM Works. I said before that this is a casting. I actually have a SOLIDWORKS model of the raw casting that I would like to use so I can be completely assured that even when I machine the red areas I get exactly what's going to happen out of the machine. Let me delete the solid we just created and show you a trick that even some SOLIDWORKS superstars would maybe not think of. We can actually bring in a SOLIDWORKS part into a SOLIDWORKS part. Not as strange as it might sound. Here's my raw casting. It has extra material on the top and on the bottom, and as you can see, it's also missing all the holes. From our original part, we are going to hit insert and then selecting part. You will recognize that our feature tree look as before because what we ended up with was our raw casting as another body. Following the same steps as before, we can now hide our raw casting and selecting it as stock from the From Solid drop down. To finish this video off, let's switch over to an assembly. Here I have a fixture I have created to face off both top and bottom of our castings. What I have done is made our raw casting into place so I can use them as the excess stock, and also the finished parts as they are the ones I'm going to pick my tool paths from. So from the CAD manager everything is business as usual. I'll pick the two finished parts as model, and from the From Solid option, I'll pick the two hidden raw castings. As a bonus, I also want you to be aware that the Fixture option will let you select fixtures, clamps, and or vices, and this will make HSM Works be on the watch out for collision detection. Now that's another great feature. Now, hit the green check mark, and now where I select the facing operation, you will see that the stock simulation will display the actual raw castings as stock. This is assuring that you get the best idea of what is going to happen out at the machine before your program even gets there. Now, I promised to show the link again for the job setup video, so here it is. And also, remember, if you are looking for information on other options, don't forget that we are on Facebook, Twitter, and have a great resource of knowledge on the camforum.autodesk.com.